Hey all, I just went shopping at Fred Meyer, which is our local Kroger store here in the Pacific Northwest. And um, before I went in, I was like, should I do a video? Should I not? And I was like, nah, I don't need to do a video for this haul. And then I started finding so many good markdown deals like on meat and things. And I was like, I just need to turn on the camera and uh, show everybody and share. So I'm going to bring you along on my reduced meat haul. I also was able to do some Christmas shopping while I was in there because I am kidless right now. I um, was able to sneak out without the children. So perfect opportunity to get some Christmas shopping done. So uh, let's go shopping. Good. I just realized that this has dried glucose syrup as an ingredient, so I think I'm going to go ahead and put that one back. Although I'm not opposed to a meat product that has a little bit of sugar in the ingredients, but since this one doesn't have nutrition facts, I don't know exactly how much it is. As long as it's, you know, one carb or less per serving, it's not that big of a deal, but I just don't know about this one, so I'm going to throw it back. I'm super excited about this. 324 for hardwood smoked peppered bacon, 24 ounces, so one and a half pounds. I just grabbed all the ones that were on in the, not on the shelf, but in the case. Um, I didn't even count how many there were, maybe like seven or eight. And then um, these, can I get through? Okay, these, um, even though we bought a half a cow, uh, this year. I still have been buying these whenever I see them on sale just because they make such an easy meal. And so it's one and a third pound. And sometimes they're reduced to more than this. Um, it, I think it just depends on who's doing the reducing at the moment. Um, but when I see them on reduced, I will um, grab them and um, when I get home, I'll do the food saver on them and throw them in the freezer. And they're just such an easy meal uh, to pull out. And I got several of those, oh, I put them down here. And because they had the bacon cheddar, they had the triple cheddar, and then they also have the jalapeno pepper jack that are really good. So I got all of those that I could find. These are for a recipe, they are not reduced, but they were buy one, get one free. And I do find that buy one, get one free deals uh, aren't usually all that great because they just jack up the <laughs> original price. And so you kind of have to look at it to know if it's a good deal or not. And this is not a great deal. I mean, four twenty-five per pound for chicken breast tenders is, I mean, it's, it's not great. I think I could get them cheaper at Costco, just at regular price, but I needed them for a recipe. So I went ahead and grabbed I uh, went ahead and grabbed them. So I actually got what, six packages. So bought three and get three free. Um, Cause I don't know when I'm going to be to Costco next to get some, but they work great for chicken strips, which I'm going to be using those for a video soon. So you guys will see that these again, I also got for a recipe. This is more of an experiment recipe. I want to do I'm hoping to get it done before Christmas. So it's kind of like a holiday recipe uh, that I want to try that involves sausage. Um, so I grabbed these. These are ones that do have some sugar ingredients, um, dextrose and sugar in the ingredients, but it's still zero grams of carbs per two ounces. So for me, that's not that big of a deal. And like, it's just the convenience of it. I do have a sausage recipe like sausage seasonings uh, and you can throw together your own sausage, but I decided to just keep it simple. And for me, that tiny bit of sugar is not too big of a deal. They've got Legos at buy one, get one 40% off right now. And Levi is still obsessed with Legos. So I thought I'd check out, see if there's anything that was good for him for Christmas. You know, I got out shopping without children, so this is an opportunity. Oh, this is cute. This is... Oh, it's Harry Potter. Oh, that is super cute. Talia would love that. I don't know what price it is, because that's not the right tag. But that is super cute. I want to get that for Talia. Levi's been obsessed with Minecraft recently, so we'll do this one. And then we got two. 
One's 40% off. 92 over. All right, I got a ton of meat. I got some Christmas shopping done, which was great. And I was able to get out of there for a little over $250. Um, $124.87 savings. There was a coupon for $20 off if you spent $100 on like home apparel and electronics. So I got $20 off with that coupon. All right, now I need to figure out where I parked. It was back here somewhere, I think. Oh, actually, I'm over on the other side, darn it. Oh, well, I'll get extra steps. First off, I'll show you the non-food items, which are mostly Christmas presents for the kids. Uh, for Levi, I got these for Levi. Um, the Carhartt duck jeans. So cute, he's gonna match dad. Um, okay, I got these for Renee. These are um, Squishmallows, and she loves Squishmallows, but I've had this really strong like resistance to letting her get any because we have so many stuffed animals. You guys know that have kids. Stuffed animals just somehow multiply. And so she always wants the squishmallows and I'm always like, no, we're not doing that. Um, but these are so tiny. So I went ahead and got her those. So she will be so excited for that. For Talia, I got the cute Harry Potter dots thing. It's like a pencil holder, so cute. And then some pencils so she could put them in her pencil holder. She wanted some nice colored pencils and these ones looked kind of interesting. So grabbed those for her. And then I got some wrapping paper, some uh, ribbon. I also picked up a um, a candy thermometer. Um, okay, so I was trying to get up to $100 to get the $20 off. And I was like, I need a candy thermometer. I don't have one. Lindsay just posted a fudge recipe the other day that looked really good, but it does require a candy thermometer. And I was like, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. So I grabbed that. Also needed some cling wrap. This will probably last me like seven years um because we don't use it a lot but occasionally we need it so that is all then oh and then this here is a couple of like little cars things for levi like the surprise the surprise eggs he loves that kind of thing and then these were cute they were little putty um this one is avocado putty which oops, which is hilarious all right come on focus focus there we go avocado putty and then there were just some different ones this one for levi pirate's cove uh funky fidget and daydream every bit of food i got was meat <laughs> so i got um let's see two four five of the burgers two of the bacon cheddar two of the jalapeno pepper jack one of the triple cheddar i got four packs of uh party wings these are also for a recipe that um, I'm going to be doing. And so um, I needed those. They were buy one, get one free. So it actually turned out to be a pretty good price for wings. Wings have been so expensive recently. I got the six packages of the um, breast tenderloins. I got three packages of the sausage, again, for a recipe that I'm experimenting with. And then I got nine of the thick cut smoked peppered bacon that was on sale for $3.24, which was a great deal. And um, that is my meat haul from Fred Meyer. And look at this bonus I got. I can get a donut every day for free for being such a loyal customer. The coupon has already been loaded into my account. Wow, that's so generous. Don't think I'll be uh, partaking in that, but sure is sweet, isn't it? Pun intended. So that is my Fred Meyer haul today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, have you been finding some good markdown deals at the store recently? I feel like around Christmas time, around any holiday, but especially Christmas, there's a lot of meat deals that you can take advantage of. If you're like consistently going to the store and checking for deals, um, that's the thing you have to you have to go there to find them. So I find if I go to the store like multiple times, I get like the maximum deals. Um, so anyways, let me know what you guys have been finding. Hope you guys are doing great and uh, are enjoying this holiday season and I will see you again in the next video.